hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel like my videos and please check out other videos on my channel so the last update about twist of fate ria got a new plan to separate rambro and praji and gorav was also planning to destroy pragya while alia and tano were helping gorav let's continue mitali asks alia what happened and why her mood is spoiled alia says nothing you do your work Mitali thinks nobody can hide anything from me. She thinks when I hear you in your room, then I won't feel good. Rhea comes to see that office and thinks to search for some pros. She thinks they might have gone to some business trips and they might have had some photos together. She doesn't get anything. Pion comes there. Rhea asks where is it. Pion says he is in the curtain. Prachi asks Sida to read carefully and asks him not to eat slowly. Sida says what to do when I am nervous. Prachi says that is why I asked you to eat properly. She says she will go and check for Rambro. Sedat asks her to sit with him for some time and holds her hand. Rhea thinks I was making stories and here they are writing romantic stories. She takes their pictures. Sedat tells Prachi that he wants her to read the file. Says I know that you cannot stay without Rambro. Prachi tells him about Rambro's dream of having a startup and says when I couldn't give him time, then I think that my time of my life is wasted. Sedat smiles and says you love Rambro so much and asks if such love happens between all couple. Prachi asks if Rhea and E doesn't have the love. Sedat gets upset and recalls Rhea's words. Rhea thinks so much would happen and first of all, doubt will start and she comes to his office. Rambro asks what up Rhea. Rhea asks what are you hiding and asks him to show. He forces him to show it. Rambro shows Prachi's picture on the laptop. Rhea says you see her daily. He says I see her daily. But whenever I see her, it is like I see her for the first time. Rambro says Prachi doesn't even have 4 hours for me from 24 hours. He says she works for 4 hours in the kitchen, 9 hours in the office, and nothing is left for me. Rhea says she must have given you time when coming home. He says she tells me whatever she did, and I tells her whatever I do. He says we talk and sleep after having food. He says that is why I see her picture. Rhea says she asks with whom she talks to for 2 hours. Rambro says she talks to your husband. Rhea says they talk about other things too. She holds his hand and takes him outside. She says even Sedat did not give me time and says I got the answers. She says maybe even you get the time. She takes him to the canteen. Sedat tells Prachi that what do a person love more than love and money and says the love which you both have cannot happen between anyone. Prachi says my mother and father also have the same love. Sedat says I hope I will be lucky like you. He says Rhea doesn't love me. Prachi says she likes you. She is your wife and she asks him to think of his feelings. She asks him to hear his heart and says only feelings matters. Seda says Rhea is sweet and rude and says on our honeymoon and he smiles. Prachi says there is confusion than love. She asks him to understand love and asks him to promise not to take such things in mind. Seda holds her hand and promise her. She also promises that she will be with him always whenever he needs her. Rhea and Rambro sees them doing I-5. He says when I asked Prachi to do lunch with me, then she said that she doesn't have time. Rhea says she has time, but not for you. Alia get Gaurav's call. She asks why did you call and says that she was hearing her brother and Pragya and she says that it was a normal conversation and she asks him to see the renovation work. Alia says what is the use of the renovation and tells him about the unauthorized constructions outside. Gorav says it is in the ITO. She says yes. He asks the driver to take him to ITO. Mitali asks Aliyah, why are you talking to Gorav? Aliyah asks if Abi does as we want. Mitali says that Gorav is not good. Aliyah asks her not to interfere in her work. Mitali thinks, why do I have a feeling that she will join us due to Gorav? Ria tells Rambro that you said that Prachi doesn't have time for you, but she has time, but it is not for you. He says you are right. Rhea thinks this is easy. Rambro goes to them. Sedar says think of a devil and the devil has arrived. Prachi says I was about to come. Rambro asks what is happening here. Prachi says walk and says Sedat is eating being nervous. Rambro asks do you know about my favorite sandwich. He says you have ordered it and eaten yourself. Prachi says your brother has ordered it. Rambro asks Rhea to come. Sedar tells Rambro that Prachi named the sandwich as Ranwish. Rambro says if you want me to come, then order this sandwich. He eats it and tells Rhea that whatever she thought is not right. Prachi says what did she think? She gets a call and goes. Rhea says sit. Prachi knows you well and says even I don't know much. Prachi tells Sida that the meeting would happen in two minutes and asks him to come. 
purchases Rambro ordering coffee and looks at him and goes. Abby meets the renovation guy. The guy says that if the wall falls down, then the Kucha houses will break and many people will lose their life. The guy asks why Praga is not buying a new office instead of this renovation. Abby says this is my old office. He says we shall rebuild the walls and says the safety is important than the renovation. He asks the guy to rebuild it and not to renovate it. Gorav captures everything on his phone. He smiles. Rambro and Rhea comes home. He asks Sony about Grandma and Palavi. Sony says that they haven't come till now. He messages Prachi to come home fast as he reached home. He is about to go to the room. Rhea says you are not showing any reaction. Rambro says they are colleagues and their relationship is of a brother-in-law and a sister-in-law. Rhea says no girl and boy can be friends. Rambro laughs and says they are good friends and colleagues. He says I made them become friends and says that Prachi started going to the office so that I don't get distracted. He says don't think so much. They are just good friends and colleagues. She thinks it won't be easy to make you against Prachi and says once I put the doubt virus in you, then you will try to make yourself understand. Abby comes to Pragya and gives her coffee. She asks, did you make the coffee? He says, Shagun, and then says that he made it, and says he was making coffee, and something was extra, so I gave it to you. Pragya says, I would like it if you tell me that you made it for me. He says, I made it for you, and asks her if she sent him to the office, and says that it was his first office. Pragya says, I was busy, and I wanted you to go. Abby remembered that Grandma had inaugurated the office, Pragya says X Factor was missing in others. Abby says you don't like my songs. Pragya says you were a rock star and I was your number one fan. Pragya tells Abby that later she liked the song and she had become his number one fan. Pragya asks Abby why did you leave singing? He says the reason was that there was no reason left in life, no happiness, no romance and inspiration. So what will he sing? He says a singer can sing without mood but not without inspiration. He says that is why he left singing. Pragya says life is stable now and asks him to sing today for him. He says no. Pragya goes behind him. Rhea comes to Rambro's room and says I hope I am not disturbing you. He says no. Rhea says where is Prachi? If she is we see that. Rambro says yes, they are working together. Rhea says I did not see such a stupid guy before. He holds her hand. She gets happy. He says I will not scold you as you called me stupid. He says I try to make you understand. But now I will make you understand in a different matter. He says I will not have bear it if anyone would have said this. Rambro says I know that there is a tension between Siddharth and you and that is why you think that he likes Prachi, which is untrue. He says if they have seen each other together, then you will think that something is going on. Rhea says do you think that they don't like each other? He says they like each other and says I like you too as you are my brother's wife and wife sister. Rambro says Siddharth and Prachi likes each other as they are friends and not because there is something between them. He asks her not to think much, else she will get mad. He asks her to take out all the bad things and sleep. She says, if you think that I shall not doubt them, then you are doubting my intelligence. Rhea challenged Rambro to prove her wrong or she will prove him wrong. He says, Prachi said that you are changed, but you are still the same. Rhea says, I don't like you by art and says, whoever thinks by art gets betrayed. He asks, what do you think? That my trust is in my eye blindness and says that he will prove it that he is not wrong. Prachi tells Sida that she will go and see Rambro. He might put AC on. Sida says he is not a kid. She says she likes to work, but she is not career oriented and she doesn't want to get money. She started working to support Rambro for a startup and that is why I started any morning. She said we are not husband and wife, but we are partners. Siddharth says you are that of girl who wastes talent for her husband. She says I am from that kind of girl who likes to hear lullaby in childhood and fairy tales when grown. She says she wants to give so much love to Rambro. She says she will go and see Rambro. Siddharth tries to stop her. Rhea hears them fully. Prachi comes to the room and covers blanket on Rambro. She touches his forehead. He says you woke me up. Now you will make me sleep by resting on my side lovingly. She rested beside him and keeps her head on his head. She closes her eyes. Rambro looks at her. A song plays in the background. Prachi kisses on his cheeks and sleeps. Later, Pragya comes to Abby and asks him to get up. He says, what happened? Pragya says, you can sleep when I ask you to sleep on the sofa and says, I am the owner of the house and I spoke to you so nicely and you showed your back to me and came here. He says, he doesn't want to sing. 
Raja says, I am your owner and you are my personal singer too. He says, your request change into demand. He says, you have to sing song and ask him to sing, but he refuses. Pragya goes. He thinks that she will change her clothes and she will sleep beside me. Pragya brings guitar for him. He says, I heard it after so many years and get emotional. He then keeps it on the table and says, I don't want to play music. She says, you can forget to hold it, but you cannot forget to sing the song. She says, what do you think? That my entertainment will not happen if you don't sing. Pragya takes the guitar and tries to play music. He gets up from the bed hearing the noise. He says, you are insulting the guitar. I can bear my insult, but not of any musical instrument. Pragya says, now you got the reason to sing and asks him to play music. Abby plays the guitar and sings songs. A song plays in the background. Tanu thinks if Abby is singing song or playing a song on the music player, she thinks to go and check. Alia also comes out of her room and looks at Tanu. Pragya recalls their moment and smiles hearing his song. Alia says my brother is singing song. Tanu says it is the voice of Abby and it is coming from Pragya's room. Abby continues to sing and sit beside Pragya on the bed. It is her dream. He is sitting opposite to her. Alia and Tanu peep in their room and get surprised. Pragya looks at them and tells them that it is a personal concert, shall be personal and closes the door. Alia goes from there. Pragya thanks Abby and says thanks very much. He says I shall thank you for making me meet my two old things. One is my guitar and the other thing is my old office. Pragya says I want to make you meet yourself. He goes from there. A song plays in the background. Tanu tells Alia that Abby is falling in love with Pragya again. Alia says that doesn't mean that he is in love, as he sang song for her. Tanu says he had never seen there. Alia says he is happy and relaxed seeing grandma happy in this house. Tanu says she is sure that Abby will keep distance from Pragya, but she doesn't believe Pragya. She says they are coming near in front of me. Alia says something is not in control and says that Abby will trust Pragya only and he will go far from you. You don't exist for him. Tanu says you are a worse sister and a bad friend. Alia says, I cannot lie to please you. Tanu says something, it is good to lie. Metali tells Alia whatever she has made. Alia says she shall make Tanu half sweet as she is very angry. Tanu says she is listening to everything. Metali says Alia is right. I shall make some sweets in breakfast. Abby comes downstairs and asks, where is Pragya? Metali says she must be coming. Tanu says, I need to talk to you. Pragya comes there. Abby asks, what happened? If I cannot ask where she is, Pragya says you can ask. Mitali says he always asks where is Pragya. Tanu says you are behaving as if you are falling in love. Pragya smiles. Tanu says why are you behaving as a teenager? He says even if I am in love, then who are you to ask me? Tanu says I am your wife and I stayed with you during your bad times. Abby says you were staying in my house but you were not my wife. He says Pragya is my divorce and I had never divorced her. He asks her not to show right on him and says I had never given you the right to show on me as it is just of Pragya. Pragya looks on. Thank you for watching my videos. Please like my videos, share it and please subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you.